Hi, I'm Ruben. This is a modern entryway bench with a steel frame and a wooden storage compartment for shoes. So let me show you how I built it in my spare time shop. Let's start off with how I built the frame. It might be worth it to note that before I started this whole build, I actually 3D modeled and made plans for all the parts, so I know how to cut all of these pieces. Because I wanted the legs to be trapezoid and not just square, it's important to keep track of all the angles and how the steel bars will come together. I cut the four legs all at once to make sure they're exactly the same length. You can see here how they will fit together. I'm grinding a small bevel on all sides so I can fill this groove up with a weld. I'm tack welding the legs, making sure all the pieces are in the right size and flat against the tabletop. I'm following up with a full weld on all edges. I'm grinding all visible welds back down for a smooth finish. And I now have two identical clean legs for the bench. I cut two long pieces on the bandsaw and these will act as cross supports for the legs later on. The wooden box will be attached to these horizontal bars. I also put in some smaller supports and closed up the ends of the legs. I actually forgot to film this, but I added in some L brackets to the frame and drilled holes in them. So I can then later on put screws through these holes to attach the wooden box to the frame. Let's get on to the woodworking part. I got my panels cut to size at my local lumber dealer, uh, following the plans I made. Now I'm laying out all the panels to see what it would look like. So now it's just a matter of screwing everything together, but first I'm marking and pre-drilling all the holes so the wood won't split. I am covering up all visible screw heads with small pieces of dowel later on. For the final assembly I'm using plenty of wood glue, checking if the pieces are square while screwing them down. The next part is basically the same, so I'll just fast forward a little bit. I put in the bottom panel and might have gone a bit overboard with the amount of screws. Anyways, it's on there really good. There was a bit of overhang because the panels didn't really line up perfectly, but I took out my router with a flush trim bit and a chisel to clean up the edge. I plugged the holes from the screws with a dowel and cut it flush with the surface. I don't really know how and when, but I cut myself somewhere along this process. You can see a little bit of blood, but not to worry, it cleans right off with a little bit of sanding. I rounded over all the edges with my router and a 45 degree bit. I also wanted to create a simple handhold, so I clamped down a straight edge and routed out a bit where the lids of the box will go. 
Speaking of lids, let's get them installed with these cabinet door hinges. These hinges have a soft close function and I'm hoping it will help with the lids not slamming shut when they fall down. To install the hinges I marked where I wanted them to go and took a template that came with the packaging. I made a reference point on the lid and took a Forstner bit to drill out the place for the hinge to sit into. On the box itself, I also made reference marks, drilled some holes for the hinge mount. When fully assembled, it looks like this. Now I don't want any overhang on the lids, so I marked them and cut them down with a circular saw. So now they're nice and flush with the front of the box. After sanding everything down, I applied three coats of clear matte furniture finish, with light sanding in between the coats. I got the steel frame back from powder coating and it's looking good. Time for a test fit. And it works. What a relief. We turned the whole thing upside down and screwed the wood to the frame. This is just me testing to see if it's sturdy and it really is. But there was actually a little bit of play between the frame and the box. So I did drive in some extra screws from inside the box through the wood into the steel. And it worked. I cut some floor mats to size and put them in to protect the wood from any dirty shoes that will go inside of the box. And now it's done. I love how this modern bench came together and it really fits the hallway perfectly. I'm especially happy with how the handle looks, it's just so clean and elegant. Although it's a big piece, it doesn't quite look like it because of the slanted legs. I will add in some piston dampers to the lids to prevent it from falling down, because the soft closed hinges weren't quite strong enough. But anyways, I like how it turned out, I'm really happy with it. So thanks for watching, let me know what you think and check out some of my other builds I've made in my spare time shop.